Good morning. Welcome to Food for Thought. My name is Pastor Clint Lang from Hillside Community Church in 100 Mile House, BC, Canada. Glad you could join me again. It's uh, Thursday. It's hard to believe that this week is flying by so fast. Uh, December the 17th, 2020. And uh, yeah, we're continuing our theme on uh, the joy of the Lord as the third week of Advent um, is upon us. We're focusing in on the joy that comes through knowing Christ. Authentic joy and true happiness is found in God's presence. I, I love that joy is the very essence of God's character. In 1 Chronicles chapter 16, 27, it's written, Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his dwelling place. Psalm 1611 reminds us that joy and eternal pleasures are found in God's presence. By spending time with God in prayer and searching, searching the treasuries of his word, we can enter into God's wonderful, joy-filled presence and allow his truths about joy to fill our hearts. It's one of the special things about Christmas. When we reflect on the scriptures, we see all of these truths coming forward on the, on the pages. And King Solomon once wrote in Proverbs chapter 3, 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. God calls us to follow him and to trust him and his wisdom, even if it isn't easy and even if it doesn't make sense. But there's one other blessing that we see when we read Bible verses about joy. God promises real joy, not just happiness. When we decide to listen to him and live by biblical principles, the joy of the Lord truly becomes our strength. King David writes in Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither whatever he does prosperous. When we delight in the Lord and in his word, we are blessed and we will receive heavenly nourishment while others who reject the Lord's word are parched, dry, and destitute. I love how Psalm 19 verse 8 says, the precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. This verse reminds us that God's good commandments, what I like to think of as his boundaries for my life, they bring joy to a person's heart because they give us heavenly wisdom that is beyond ourselves. I agree with the writer of the publication, Vibrant Christian Living, who says concerning joy, Choosing joy during challenging life circumstances is never easy, especially when we are tempted to ignore God's wisdom and to follow our own ways. You see, my friends, there are times in our lives when our nature wants to try and bring us joy by pursuing sin. But we may think that these, so these are solutions to life's dilemmas and that they will make the pain stop and bring the joy and contentment that we're looking for. But in the end, pursuing sin only brings sorrow and deep regret. It seems strange to find joy by trusting in someone else, but I have seen over and over again in my own life that the deepest joy comes when I learn just to be still before God and trust that he is figuring everything out for good. One thing I've learned about joy in the Bible is that God doesn't promise that joy has to make logical sense for the circumstance that we're facing. He doesn't promise that. He just promises that he will provide it when we trust in him. 
I'm so grateful that we can learn about real joy in the Bible. And that I don't have to try on my own to find it and discover it out there in the world somewhere. I'm so thankful. How about you? This is Food for Thought. Have a wonderful day.